This is just for men. If you, again, I don't mean to make sex assumptions here, but I realize a lot of you have probably never had makeup on or you've never done it yourself. My recommendation, you just got to get over it and realize all men, the most macho men you see in the action adventure movies, they're all wearing makeup. Whether it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis, Will Smith, whoever your favorites are, they're wearing lots of makeup. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for you. Again, the bare minimum, you need a mosaic powder and just any powder will work as long as it doesn't change the color of your skin. Now, you may be offered makeup if you go to a TV studio or TV network. Say yes. Don't say, oh, I don't need it. No, no, th take it. You're not impressing anybody by being so macho that you're saying no to it. Famously, in 1960, there was a U.S. presidential election. One candidate, the then Vice President Richard Nixon, refused makeup. John F. Kennedy, the United States Senator, did take makeup. And by most accounts, people who saw the debate on television thought that Kennedy won the debate and looked so much better, more youthful, more vigorous. The irony, of course, was that Kennedy was in horrible health his whole life. Nixon was actually a healthier candidate, but he looked bad because he didn't wear makeup. So my recommendation, get some powder. If you're not comfortable going to a store, get a family member, a friend, a spouse to go with you. They can buy it in their name if you want to. I realize there may be different social mores about buying makeup in different parts of the world. So I don't want to get you in any trouble or risk, but you just need to get it so that when you are on camera, you know that you look your best and you're not shiny.